Next question is from John Alva 7. To build the business of Mind Pump, were there any hard compromises you as a team had to make? If so, what was the hardest to do for the better of the business? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Lots we, of compromises. I had to like, we, we had to know Justin was going to eat all the cheese in the studio. <laughs> yeah. It was like, that's <laughs> mine. No, that's not. You know, um, this is a tough question because I don't know if we've had any hard compromises. I think they've all been pretty easy. Mm. There's definitely compromises, but they're not hard. We haven't to fight, you know, had to fight or argue. Right over them but i think uh you know recognizing that it's you, you can't do everything and that other people are, are better suited for other things in the business i think that's an important thing to understand for all partners mm -hmm. and i know we're pretty good about that i don't know if that was a hard compromise it was a hard compromise at first there was growing pains where we went through letting go stuff doug mm -hmm. still struggles with it today mm -hmm. i think that we all we all tend to and we did a lot uh, i think at the very beginning uh, we wanted to do everything together mm -hmm. we all yeah. we all got together we all liked each other so much and we all respected each other as leaders themselves and so every decision made in the business we felt the need that, you know, you want to bring your partners in and they need to make that decision with you. And uh, I think everybody was a little reluctant to just take charge of an area and just make the decision for the company. And so uh, we we probably had, a, I would say, about a six month to a year there where we, we kind of were stagnant because we were not allowing each other to kind of disperse and get things done and just not worry about trying to bring involve everybody with every decision. So there was some growing pains there. Um, I had to compromise. I felt a little bit at the beginning, but I look back now and I think it was the, one of the best things that ever that happened to me was I struggled with not having kids at the beginning and, uh, the, this like nine to two schedule that we had like structured. So the guys could be, be home with their kids and do the things that were very, very important to them, which was family. And I was in like, let's scale this thing mode and let's spend the night and park our tents out at the studio and not leave until mm -hmm. it's at a certain level. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to, and which it wasn't necessary for us to do that, but it was, it was something that I was used to because I'm not an organized person. So my way of success in the past was just get after it, just be so focused on it that that's all you think about 24 seven and you'll, you'll eventually get all the things you need to get done. But what it really forced me to do was become better organized, better uh, efficient with my time that we had this time together that I had to, to get it done. And, and then now looking back, now that I have a son, uh, it was the best thing that we ever did because I value that time the same way that these guys value that time. And so it felt like a compromise and a struggle for me, uh, early on, but because we got through it and figured it out, it was one of the best things that we ever did. Yeah, you know, the reason why I have a tough time with it, saying hard compromise, I think like hard compromise would be all of us like, no, it's got to be this way. No, it's got to be that. Yeah, somebody's still like salty about it today. Yeah, you know, I don't think anybody is. No, I, 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 I didn't, you know, that didn't seem like it was a hard compromise because you didn't like, it wasn't like something that you were yelling and, and mad about. You, yeah. you know, we, we all... And that's probably because we're older, I would say. I could imagine if we were younger and we started Mind Pump, mm -hmm. this this would have been a, a – boy, this would have been – I don't. I mean, I'm, I still think we would have worked through it, but I, I think there probably would have been a, a one or two fist fights <laughs> you know, or <laughs> something would. like that, you know, throwing something. But, yeah. um, but now, I mean – The hardest had to have been the dividing and conquering. Like Probably. Yeah, I, I can agree with I that. I really only think in the last year – so we're, we're, Mind Pump is five and a half years old now, right? And it's only been maybe a year, year and a half tops, I would say – we really have all kind of fallen into our position. When we built this, we didn't have, we didn't sit down and have this like, you're this position, you're that position, these are your job titles. And probably an, a CEO outside looking in would think that it was going to fall apart for those reasons because we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, but we let it, na we, la we allowed the natural growth and allowed everyone to kind of naturally fall into uh, their strengths and it ended up working out. But there was, uh, there was that at the beginning, I think. There was that, uh, you know, oh, Sal can just go handle that and he'll make the decision for us and I'm not going to question it. I, don't, I would trust him to do that. Justin, same thing, mm -hmm. Doug and myself. But at the beginning, we had this thing where it was like every guy- It was a council. Yeah. yeah every, every, we, we, oh my God. I remember those days like vividly where we'd bring something in and then we'd have this round robin discussion. It would be hours long and heated back and forth, back and forth. And then it would just be like, it would stall yes. whatever that was that we were trying to actually yeah. do. All right. We'll get the blue dumbbells. You yeah, know, exactly. Like that. It was <laughs> just so stupid. Yeah. Uh, but you know, at the same time, we valued everybody's opinion. So it was like, I did want to bring it to the group. Everybody had that sense, you know? And that's a real, believe it or not. I mean, we're, we're acting like we're downplaying how much of a compromise that is, but 
that takes a lot of I don't know if that would have been able to if we would have been able to do that in our 20s and that takes a lot of trust in your partners totally. to, to be able to just walk away from your it, it, you know this is everybody's baby here right there's four of us that created this from nothing it's everyone's child so to think that there's a part of raising this child that the other three guys has like got to a point where they're just like, oh yeah, Adam, you go ahead and make the decision for how the kid is going to learn this. Or right. Sal, you go right. ahead and decide what is his moral fabric is going to be around. Right. Oh, Justin, you go ahead and decide what sports he's into. Or I mean, literally, that's what we've done with this business. And that's a big compromise yeah. to allow each other to do that. And I we worked our way through it, I think, really nice. And it didn't take that long to do it but it was it was a struggle at the beginning i yeah, think yeah yeah and you know there's been there's been times when we've thought about whether or not we should express a particular opinion or we mm -hmm. should you know talk about a particular thing you know and at the end of the day the one thing i think we've never had to compromise on is these these core values and one of them is just maintaining our integrity at all costs mm -hmm. meaning okay if 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 we believe something and we say it and we're against everybody else. This was early days of Mind Pump. Not, not so much now, but early days, there was a lot of stuff we said that uh, that wasn't widely accepted in the fitness space, uh, for example. Um, and it was risky. It was risky to come out and say, no, that's all wrong. That's all bullshit. Here's the deal. We were, no, we were nobodies when we first came out. Uh, but we're, one thing that we don't compromise is we're willing to, to take it all down if we have to. We're not going to compromise on, on you know, what we believe to be true. And I think that's another, I think that's what makes the other compromises possible. You know, if we didn't have a core, like, like there's certain things that I know where you guys, what you guys would do. And I know you guys uh, value, for example, integrity as one of those top things that makes other compromises easy because there's a solid base. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? True. And I think that's an important thing to have. All uh, about that base. All about that base. <laughs>